Pada Hastasana. In Sanskrit, Pada means foot and Hasta means hands. That's why Pada Hastasana means the Yogasana where you touch your feet with your hands. This asana is also known as Uttanasana. To do this asana, first stand straight with your feet at a distance of two inches from one another. Now, taking a long deep breath in, raise both your hands straight in front of you and take them up over your head. Stretch your body up as much as you can from your waist. While breathing out slowly in this posture, bend your body forward till the point where both your palms can touch the floor. When bending down, take care that your arms and head both go down at the same time. Remember, if you have a problem of stiffness in your back, then bend only up to the point where you don't experience any strain or difficulty. Breathing in and out normally, stay in this posture for about 10 to 30 seconds. Padahastasana makes your backbone flexible. This asana gives relief from problems which arise during the female menstrual cycle. Refrain from doing this asana if you are suffering from any heart disease, back or backbone related problems, vertigo, or swelling in the stomach. Patients suffering from hernia, high myopia, ulcer, and pregnant women should also refrain from doing this asana. Staying in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds, take a deep breath in, come up slowly to a standing position. Take care that your arms and head come up at the same time. While doing this, both your hands should be stretched up above your head. While exhaling slowly, bring both your hands down and relax. Practicing this asana regularly improves your digestive process and also gives relief from constipation.